All right. Let's get back into it. Ollie. We are going to come back to you. Um, so. You are in the yard. When and where do you want to talk to Poison Ivy? Um, you, um. you've had your conversation with, uh, with well, your your escapade with Ed. You've had your conversation with Scraps, um, and now we'll we'll rejoin you in the yard uh, a little after that, but before you're going to head out to meet the crew at the coffee shop. So where and when do you want to talk to Ivy? Mm-hmm. Um, what is, uh, is, uh, I feel like Ivy is probably more of a tea person, but she, if she's, is she a coffee person or a tea person? I, I like, I like Ivy being a tea person, but yeah. Um, what, what's, what's her favorite tea, Dave? I mean, it's gotta be, it's gotta be a green tea, right? Does make a certain amount of sense. It's yeah. just miracle grow miracle grow um it's yeah, just she green. likes it's, she likes a, a simple green tea so, no, so not like a, a matcha with a little scooch of uh a plant fertilizer in there <laughs> i mean listen maybe you've been slipping it in i don't know also no no um there is such a thing as uh called compost tea that it does get used uh but that that is neither here nor there um, i mean if if you want to call it that yeah it's, it's your call yeah i think ollie's gonna bring her a like xl mug of whatever what, 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 her her preferred um brand i feel like there's probably like a kind of shady might be a front for something else. Actually, you know what? I'm going to say it was a front for this is a Buffalo pizza place situation where it was an organized crime front. And then they did such a good job at the actual business that they're like, this is more profitable. Um, <laughs> OK, there's a there's a tea place that Ollie uh, Ollie goes to and gets uh, gets tea, the, the, the right tea for I what's what's it called what do we want to call this Ooh, it's got to be something real real trash sounding i think it's just called t for you with a four in it <laughs> it's t for you perfect t for you i'm writing that down um and, and it's like a little hole in the wall somewhere wait um, it's it's not it's t the letter t for the number four, you the letter U. Yeah, that's correct. And it it is, uh, it is and it is Doctor like Pamela a... Isley's favorite favorite tea shop. Yes, uh, and specifically, it also has the graphic logo that's been the Java logo that's just been stole like the Java the programming language, and they've just wholeheartedly lifted that <laughs> um, as part of the sign. Uh, yeah, uh, Ollie has gotten uh, like a big bag of that and has brewed up some perfect, a perfect batch of green yeah, tea. Yeah, yeah, and they're, and their like selling point in the neighborhood is very much like all natural, organic, fair trade. Like you know, it's uh, it it's like hippie tea. Like there's a bunch of blends that are are just like you know, um, the the proprietor just like went out of the city and got a bunch of pine needles from the forest and like washed them and put them in a blend like they they like grabbed a bunch of you know they foraged for for uh, a bunch of the herbs that are in like the blended teas Pretty sure this place ex- has and... spontaneously combusted into existence in, in <laughs> brooklyn yeah yeah and and uh, all the all the teas are in these um they're all like mismatched recycled jars with these uh, very like you clearly printed these out of your own printer stickers on them. Yes, that's the vibe. Yeah, it is basically if um, if if except I feel the only the only caveat to that is that it's still Gotham. So rent is so low. It's like come, it's the price differential equivalent, but it's still Gotham. So it's still cheaper than everywhere in New York. IRA right. New York. R.I.P my financial security. Um, R.I.T. 
Rest in tea. Rest in tea, yeah. Um, anyway, so Ollie is uh, bringing a big old mug of his tea. Right. So you, you, you've like brewed it up and, and you're bringing mm-hmm. it, you're bringing it over. So you, you like, you like brew it in the little kitchenette in the small garage. Uh, you know, there's like a, you, you probably got like a little hot plate in there and a, a little kettle or, or maybe it's just an electric kettle. Right. I think this is like the, in the, the small garage by the one with the uh, secret uh, entrance exit. Yes. There is like very explicitly like a little small, there's like a mini fridge, a little hot plate, um and just generally um i think now a grow light with a slightly less unhappy aloe vera plant yeah. um and uh yeah yeah uh, all the uh, and there's an and electric you, so you all. you you bring this this little this mug of of tea over to the uh the quonset hut where you've got you know uh, ivy's plants and grow lights set up um and as you um uh, as you open the door um uh, she she's in there she's given up on her her sunbathing for the day and i think you you see her you know like pulling her sweats back on over her uh over her bikini uh from earlier uh and she looks a little a little dejected hey um i got uh i got some tea for you oh i can Thanks, Ollie. Yeah, um, I'm gonna give. I just wanted to give you a quick brief. I might be gone for a little. And uh, uh, I've been following up uh, a couple leads, chasing, you know, chasing different stuff. Um, we got a job. It's gonna be good for money and good for helping some fr- old friends out. Uh, but I, I, I think I'll be able to kill three bats with one stone. Here. Um, it's, uh, got a, it's gonna, we're hitting Ace Chemical. And, uh, I, I, uh, those sons of bitches? Yeah, well, those sons of bitches are responsible for at least some of what happened to Arkham. What do you mean? Like I said, I've been shaking, shaking the bushes. Uh, I, you know, stepped on some throats here and there, and uh, I don't have proper names, but I do know that it was scientists working with Ace that uh, had something to do with this. So I'm gonna. Go oh, shake their bushes real fucking good. Um, she looks like kind of alarmed and concerned. I want to have a roll here. Um, let's get a fortune roll, Ollie, with your. I think your resolve. Your yeah yeah your resolve column. Well, that's three pips, so I'm rolling three. That is three four three. Hmm. Okay. Mixed success. Um. All right. So. Uh. Yeah. Her. Her reaction is kind of right down the middle. Um. Yeah. She. She doesn't like. Um. You know. She. She. She's kind of chewing on this. This information for for uh for a second or two. Um. And she, um, she says, Ace Chemical. They, what, they were coming into Arkham? Yeah. Uh, some of the security, uh, a little bit, you know. Loose lips sink ships and all that. In this case, I'm gonna sink these motherfuckers. Cause they, uh, yeah, they were letting them in. It, letting them in. They were working, working there. It seems like they had some. They must have been working with someone higher up at Arkham. Uh, that I don't know who yet. But I'm gonna find out. 
I can find out. See what they do. But uh, it's not going to be super safe for, you know, I might be gone for a little bit longer than. You're going, you're going over there. Oh, yeah. Riddler's got some sort of fucking, I don't know, brain screwy pattern thing. It's like a QR code, but it jacks your it jacks you up real good. Uh, you know, his normal fucking what? bullshit. I it's a that's a longer story. I'm not too worried about that. Like, I'm pretty sure Jackie's going to punt them off a building. Um, It's it's a whole thing, but he's renting from my understanding he's renting um he's got a few floors because he's got fucking offices because he's like I whatever you know what? i'm not even gonna talk about how fucking biased the city is but whatever he's got offices in the same building the ace chemical owns downtown so i'm gonna make a detail okay. when we're dealing with hit this fucking guy All right, so uh, yeah, so we're going over there. All right, I mean, um, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll get dressed, and um, yeah, she uh, she kind of like you know very very sort of like business like uh, is is just gonna start like marching over to uh you know she she maybe she has like a bag in the in the corner of the hut right or something like a like a backpack or something uh and she she starts like uh she you know unzips it starts digging through uh digging through everything um she she takes um you know she pulls something out like it's it's a piece of one of her uh, her her sort of like more classic poison ivy uh, costumes, um, and uh, as as she she stands up to to kind of look at it uh, and and you know turn it under the um, under the lights, um, you you can see she sort of she sort of stumbles a and uh, puts a, a hand against the the wall of the hut uh, and another on her on her temple. Uh, Oh, okay. I stood up a little too fast there. Yeah, uh, Doc. It's this is a bruiser job, you know. But it's it's gonna be go in and crack a few skulls. Still, still gotta rest up a little. Okay, I understand, Ollie. But if there's a, a solution to what they did to me in Ace Chemical, then I have to go find it. Yeah, but you're not, not you're not operating at 100%. Uh, look, remember when I broke my arm and I was, in, I was, you know, out of commission for a bit? It's like that. You know, you just got a, you got a broken arm. It's a little bit more wibbly and wobbly and science even that well no offense ollie sweetie but i'm not gonna let a broken arm stop me well you didn't let me go back out that's because sometimes when you hurt you don't do it. you think you need it. it's not what, not what's best for you um ollie Give me. I, I think you are you're trying to sway Poison Ivy. I am. I am. To not insist on going with you. Uh -huh. Um. So. Yeah. Give me. Give me a, a roll with your sway rating. Um. I'm trying to decide if this. Do, do we think this is an action roll or a fortune roll? Oh no. It feels feels like it could go could go either way, so I'm I'm inclined towards action. Oh, that's feels like an action, you know, to me. But 
Okay, let's go full action roll on this. So um, you are then, um, you're starting at a disadvantage. Huh. Um, Ivy is, uh, Ivy is, I need to, three, I, I believe three sounds correct. So she has two levels on you. So you're down two to start. Um, I do think, I mean, g given the fact, let's say you're down one because, you know, she she's nerfed right now. She's she's operating at a lower effective level. So, okay, so I'm at, sway, I'm at zero. sway down one is your start. Okay. I'm going to okay. push myself. Yep. So two get, stress. So I'm back up to a single normal dice. Because life is pain. Um, that is a five on the dice. Okay. Mixed success. Um, what does Ivy make you promise in order to essentially let you go do this for her while she stays behind? Oh. I guess is it something that I'm doing, something that I'm not doing, or something that I'm getting? Could be any of the above. We else got a... Wait, no, no, I, I take that back. No, we're taking um, suggestions from the group. Okay. Can I suggest... Can't kill everybody. One person has to come back because... They have to get Poison Ivy back. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Wow, that's fucking inconvenient as hell. I know, it's a real moral dilemma. Yeah, okay. So, uh, Ivy, uh, <sighs> Ivy, you know, kind of uh, slumps a little bit, tosses the costume back into the bag, uh, and walks back over to you, uh, Ollie, um, and is going to um, put her hands on, on your shoulders uh, and, and sort of square up with you and say, Okay, fine. I'll let you go do this. But you need to promise me that you get one of those scientists. That's the only way we can get records or data or or whatever it is they have in there. But if we don't have somebody who knows this project inside and out, who knows exactly what the hell they were working on when they had me in that glass dome, we don't have that. We don't have anything. I need somebody who can actually do the work to undo this. It's a little inconvenient, but I guess I can leave one of these motherfuckers alive. <sighs> Bring back as much information as I can. I'm relying on you, Ollie, for this. If I can't go myself, you've got to do it all. My job, boss. Make things a little easier for you. You're too good. She, I mean, I'm um, a pay raise or. You keep asking about that. Where do you think, um, where do you think I'm stashing this money, Ollie? I mean, like I said, and she she sort of she sort of gestures around the uh, the quant the tiny Quonset hut full of plants and grow lights, and the one you know the one bag that she has in here. Capitalism's a cancer. 
I figure I'm just getting paid in favors down the line. Hmm. We'll see about that. And... But if the Riddler turns out to be more than we uh, bargained for, more than we think is going on, I'm not back in a few days. There's a lot of gear. There's some escape routes. Scrap no scraps knows what I'm not back in a few days. We'll come get you. I know it's what you do for me. I uh I gotta go. I I got a bunch more of the do you like from that fucking place. Uh yeah. Uh, you know, rest up, get better, and uh, we'll see you soon. Maybe if you're lucky, I'll bring you a gift-wrapped uh, scientist. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, she drops one hand, uh, and the the other um, sort of lingers on your shoulder. Uh, and just moves down to your upper arm and gives you a little squeeze before she withdraws it. And I think that's uh, I, I think that's where we'll leave Ollie for the immediate moment. Uh, you are ready to head out and meet the rest of the crew downtown. All right, so let's go over to. Adam. Adam. Uh, you fled the scene of the yard. Uh, you uh, made it back to uh, Riddler HQ. You had a uh, <laughs> um, a, a very um, illuminating conversation with your boss, uh, and you went home for the evening um it is uh it's you know it's the next day um we've seen what everybody else has been up to before they are headed over to uh to meet up at the coffee shop downtown and plan this job um i want to check in with adam uh at home before yeah. he heads out let's let's get a little slice of life for Adam Jimenez. So uh, I want to start with a description of where Adam lives. So let's get a, give me a little overview of, uh, of his living situation and uh, give, me, give me some details about the space um, and, and tell me a little bit about where we, where we see him and when in the morning we join him. Yeah, um, so Adam lives in, uh, I don't have the Gotham map pulled up right now, but um, in a part of town that's not like the overly ritzy aspect of Gotham, it's very much like the, this is a large city where lots of people live aspect of like American. Um, so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a brick apartment building um and uh he his mom and uh his siblings all live on her floor um and it's a place that they've lived in for a while it's not the place they've always lived in they've moved a few places growing up um it's fine it's definitely like in a like an apartment that can house this many people um Adam, yeah. is, do they have like do they have an apartment on the third floor is it a big building or is it like they have the third floor of this smaller apartment building like there's um, one unit it's one unit in an apartment building okay um so um one of adam's siblings his older sister has already moved out but the older brother still lives with um 
and his mom, Carrie. Um, and uh, so Adam that, is the Adam is the youngest. Adam is the baby. Yes. Great. Um, and uh, the the apartment itself is fairly messy, not in a place where like it, it like Harry would die if any people came over to see the house or the the apartment. Um, uh, there's like dishes still left over. Um, yeah, the, the sort of rooms. the sort of in progress disorganization of day to day life. Yeah, totally. Just very average day to day life sort of uh, clutter. Um, Adam's room is a different kind of clutter, which is just everything is everywhere, <laughs> not organized, but it all makes sense in his brain where everything is. Um, yeah, and I feel like it does not make sense in uh, in his mother's brain. No. Uh, and that is a, a source of uh, that's got to be a source of pretty constant contention. It is. It is a fairly consistent source of tension. Um, yeah. So what 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 does Adam's room look like? Um, Adam's room uh, has lots of drawings on the wall in the same way that his workspace does, where there's drawings that are like taped up to the wall and literally drew on the wall. Um, one of them is actually like really down to like close to the floor, which was like one he did when he was like three. I was about to ask how far back, what what's the the sort of like archaeology of these drawings. Okay, so he's he's been drawn on the walls of this room since he was three years old at least. And this is a this is a place that they used to live in, moved out of, and then actually moved back into. Oh, so it's interesting. like survived other tenants. Um uh but uh lots of clothes everywhere. Um never makes his bed. Uh definitely some like candy wrappers and all sorts of like junk food ephemera kind of sprawled about basically like the worst college dorm situation <laughs> you can imagine um and uh there is adam face down um in a bed that he's far outgrown um just sleeping through uh, breakfast and uh, he can smell it at least before he like opens his eyes um, it's just like some like homemade potatoes and eggs with some extra spices and... yeah uh, and, and this, this is sort of the you know the, the like everyday breakfast that uh, that your mom makes um, she uh, how do you how do you how do you feel about this is this like comforting or is it boring? It's definitely placid. It's definitely like a uh, Adam wanted to be out of his like family unit at this point and be on his own. Um, yeah. But his mom also like coming from like a Hispanic background, like grew up in a family where like whole family just stays with you all the time so like people like leaving feels weird for her right um, right this, this is a much more normal situation and and adam as like a i mean what what generation is is adam so adam has not uh adam's family comes from uh santa prisca um uh but like was like born and raised in god like is his mom, his mom's parents were immigrants. Okay. He was from Santa Prisca, but grew up in Gotham. And Adam was like fully born in. Um, cool. So his his mom is like first generation. Adam is second generation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh. All right. Awesome. Uh, so who who normally, if uh, when when breakfast is ready, is this normally a a Adam's mom? Uh, you know, like yells down the down the hall, or is it like you know, hey, go get your brother? Oh yeah, 
uh, Adam's brother Frank just like is usually the one to like get Adam if he's like sleeping in. Um, and he just like bangs on the door. Yeah. Okay. So you 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 know you hear that that regular banging that you know is Frank uh, on the on the door, um, and uh, I I think what's uh, let's get a let's get a description of Frank. So what's Frank's vibe and what does he look like? Frank uh, is a smidge older. He's uh, three years older. Um, he's. Uh, Adam's uh, half brother. Um, he's a lot like more burly than uh, Adam. Um, definitely has more of like a like like when he was in high school, he played a lot of football. In college, he played varsity, um, but hasn't like gone to like any like professional like teams or anything like that. Um, and just has like stuck around Gotham, just doing odd jobs. Um, he's actually primarily just working like construction right now. Mm -hmm. um, so he also has kind of weird hours, um, and uh, definitely like has like still retains a lot of like the like playfulness that like he would like rag on Adam with when they were like younger. Yeah, but definitely sure. is a little bit more like these days. All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, you you hear the you hear the pounding on uh, on the door. Bang, 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 bang. Adam, get up, man. What are you doing in there? Oh, I'm gonna... well, I'm come on, man. Sleep. Mom's gonna be pissed. Uh, you gotta okay. get up. You gotta get up. Bang, 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 bang. I'm getting up. Wakey, Look wakey, me. bro. Come on. I'm walking. I'm walking towards the door. I'm opening the door. Hey, Frank. Hey, bro. What's up, baby brother? And he uh, he kind of like reaches in and like grabs you by the face and kind of like mushes your face around playfully. Uh, rise and shine, baby bro. It's a beautiful morning in Gotham. It ever. Um. Uh, and he he sort of like swings into your into your room, puts an arm around you. Um, you know, I think I think he's dressed like he's uh, he's he's getting ready to to go out for the day. Uh, you know, um, uh, onto uh, onto the site that he's working on right now. So you know, he's got mm -hmm. uh, you know he's got jeans on. He has uh, like a, a like a canvas coat, right? Um, and. Uh, he, uh, you know, he he might have like uh, he he's he's probably gonna pick his hard hat up at the uh, at the door or whatever. Um, uh, but you know, he he's got like like heavy gauge workwear on. He sort of slings his his arm around you, uh, and he's like, "You came back late last night, baby bro. What were you up to?" Uh, I was working. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar corporate with the Corporate slave, yeah. Yeah, I know. You got that big fancy corporate job downtown. Yep. Hey, when when are you gonna uh what when are you gonna tell us what it is you actually do? You know, it's it's a little it's a bit confidential, unfortunately. I wish I could just blab oh, about yeah, all Yeah, yeah, your 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 confidentiality agreement. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm under an NDA. Oh yeah, that's uh, rough stuff. Uh, Listen, you know my opinion, okay? Anybody who works in one of those fancy buildings can't be doing real work. So <laughs> I don't know what the heck you're doing down there, but uh, hey, at least you're bringing cash in. I'm 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 contributing to rent. Can't complain. You know, actually, yesterday my job sent me out to the Gotham Zoo. What the hell is this job? For research. Um, For research, I I saw um, one of your long lost relatives in there. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. You along with them, with the uh -huh. gorilla enclosure. Oh yeah, were they? Uh, were was it? You know, one of those big alphas. Did you see them like uh, you know beating up on one of the little monkeys? And he he sort of like he has the the arm around your shoulder and kind of brings you into a headlock. 
uh, a, a little bit uh, and gives you like a, a playful like head rub. Uh, and then he sort of swings you around and out into the hallway and kind of like pushes you pushes you down towards the towards the kitchen. God, my boss has so many for what would be. Um, I can't remember any of them. It's so early. No, it's not. And again, um, yeah, dude, it is not early. You got to get a different calibration of what is early, my man. Uh, and and he sort of he sort of shoves you through to the to the kitchen. Um, kind of like and... he's like shoved forward onto the linoleum. Yeah. Um. Just like. All right, Ma. I got Sleeping Beauty here. Don't worry. Uh. And uh, your mother is uh is placing the the plates of of eggs and potatoes down. Uh, at the at the table, uh, let's get a description of uh, of your mom. Let's get a description of, of Adam's mom here. Uh, Carrie Jimenez is uh, a forty five uh, year old woman, uh, stunningly beautiful, like gorgeous. Uh, has like rich, curly, flowing hair. Um, uh, pear shaped. She uh, has um, a single, like, uh, like bleached blonde in her hair, um, almost kind of like reminiscent of like Bride of Frankenstein. Yeah, sure. And, and is this deliberate or is it natural? Uh, it's deliberate. She 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 like styles it that. Interesting. Um, okay. And uh, it's um and uh. She's got, she's, she has a very, um, like she's, um, she's motherly, but she's also very, like, flirtatious and playful. Mm -hmm. Um, and, like, Adam has grown up with her, like, actively, like, flirting with other guys while she's, like, taking the kids out. Like, very, like, open about. Yeah, I've got kids. Um, yeah. Um, is not afraid of like hiding kids away from them or when they're like trying to date. Cool, um, cool. Yeah. Uh, and what what is her what's her general vibe towards you, Adam? Like, uh, is is she um, you know is she like uh, a proud mama? Is she kind of scolding? Does she like what's the what's the vibe? She is a very proud mother. I think she is also somewhat uh, coddling in nature. Okay. Um, so sometimes Adam has had to like, like when they went to like the Emerging Gothamites grant that he got ages ago, like he had to like tell her to like not like pinch his cheeks in front of like these hot, like Gotham socialites like in front of everyone. Um, so okay. like is is very affectionate. Great. Um. Okay. So yeah, she she puts the plates down, uh, and uh, and uh, and holds her arms out uh, to you. Uh, there's my baby boy. Come here. Give your mom a hug. Hi, mom and just like hugs her yeah and uh, you know kinda... she she like she she's like kissing you on the cheek uh and uh and sort of sets you down for 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 breakfast mm -hmm. all right I... hey you being nice to your brother uh she's addressing frank here yeah what are you kidding me this this kid this peach objection your honor he's Fully lying. Be nice to your brother, Frank. He's the baby of the family. Come on. Learn your place, Frank. Yeah, Frank. Frank gives you kind of like a wry look, uh, and he says, "Yes, mom," uh, and gives her a kiss on the cheek, um, uh, and. 
uh, I think uh, I, I think he he's kind of like headed headed out the door already. Um, mm. You know, he you can see that his plate is is already cleaned, uh, and he's like, "All right, I gotta go. I gotta do you know my real job where uh, I do real work. So uh, I'll see y'all no. tonight." What a shame! You have to use your body, not your mind. Travesty. Well, listen, little bro, maybe you could learn a thing or two. Uh, and he, you know, picks up his uh, his bag and his, you know, uh, his, his, like, lunch and uh, uh, and sort of shrugs on the, uh, the, the heavier coat, gets his, gets his hard he... hat. What kind of lunchbox does he have? Um, Is it, like, the classic, like, metallic red lunchbox? I like that. I'm yeah, cool. like like this the super just the super old school like yeah red a lot about red a, metal pail. A, a ton about a uh, like a, a blue collar worker by how they bring their lunch. Yeah, yeah. Um, what I I think it's uh, I think it's one of those ones where he's got like uh, he's got like a bunch of union stickers on it. Oh, totally has a bunch. Of yeah, them. yeah. So it's it's you know it's the red metallic metal lunchbox and and it's just plastered with uh, with a bunch of union stickers. Uh, so he he picks that up, uh, kisses uh, kisses his mom on the cheek, uh, and uh, and goes out the door with a peace. And and Frank is out, um, and your mom sits down uh, across from you, Adam, um, uh, and says. Uh, so, you 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 going out to work today? Yeah, uh, sorry I wasn't home all day yesterday. I know, my birthday. Um, and baby, you keep strange hours. You you come home late like that. You you hurt your mother's heart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's how I make money. That's my, you know, the artists don't have a don't have a you know. Nine to five. It's when inspiration strikes, kind of thing. I know, I know. It's uh, as long as you come back and you bring in the money. I appreciate what you're doing. I just, I just miss you when you're not here. I know. You know, I, you're my, you're my little baby boy. No, I. Think and a maybe mom is, we gotta... a mother is allowed to miss her little baby boy. I think I think we can take a second to recognize that I'm not a, a baby. Babies don't oh, make money. Sweetie, you'll always be my baby. You don't have I to know. worry about that. I understand. But I'm not currently a baby. I'm a young man. Okay, and I see even. I see where this is going. Yeah, I understand. You gotta spread your wings, you gotta fly away from the roost. You think that this is very important. Why are you putting words in my brain? I, I, why are you saying what I think? I, can I never see said I was going to just leave you out to dry. I'm not saying oh, I'm flying the nest right not. now. You better not. You, it you means leaving your, leaving your poor mother here all alone. I'll perspire. I will. <laughs> You know that if I leave, you're going to be the first to know. Know that, right? I'm not just... I'm, I'm not going to just fly the coop. Okay, good, because... You know, if you would ever do that, uh, we would have a problem, kiddo. You going to send Frank after me? What, what, what are you going to do? Oh, I'll send more than Frank after you. Oh. Got your mother has mama? your mother has ways and means. Okay. All right, come on, eat up, eat up. Just starts eating. Um, he's hungrier than he thought he was, which is not unusual for a twenty year. Um. Uh, eats it all easy. Um. Uh, checks the time. It's like. He's got a few hours. Um. Yeah. What does okay? So we we know 
we kind of know what your brother thinks you do. Mm -hmm. uh, which is, like, sit in a dumb office all day. What does yeah. your mom think you do? And how does she feel about it? My mom thinks that I, like, I have told her that I'm an art director. I haven't said for who. Yeah, like not not uh not an untruth at all. Yeah. All um right. and uh just has seen like very like if Adam works at home, it's very like vague, rough ideas of what's going on. He never brings home like actual blue. It's just sketches it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um yeah. So uh so she she probably says uh you know as you're as you're finishing like all right, you better get going, honey. Uh actually, what um I should I should have asked this earlier. Uh what pet name does your does your mom have for you, Adam, that she calls you? Be like Uh, I feel like my little Picasso just, it's, it's so different. Wow. You know? Yes. That's so good. Okay. Uh, my little Picasso. Um, that's not even, hey, we like love your mom. Movement. <laughs> yeah. She's a great mom. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, you know, she, she takes your, she's clearing the table. She takes your plate. Uh, she, uh, gives you a, a little kiss on the head as she as she grabs your plate uh, and says, all right, my little Picasso, you better get scurrying onto your studio. Big day for an art director, right? Oof, more, in more ways than you know. Ways than you know. I'm proud of you, sweetie. And she bustles off into the kitchen. Adam has to swallow that guilt real hard right now. Can't can't face that right now. Uh, and um, uh, grabs his stuff, the sling bag, um, and says, "Never, never wears the beanie inside." She has never seen that. Uh huh. Um, and says, "Uh, all right, ma, I'll um." you later i love you you know that i love you too baby boy don't stay out too late okay i can't promise that but if i stay out late i will get you your favorite wine just kidding that was a test because i'm not old enough. you you watch it mister I mean, I could get it for you if you wanted. Just, just think of your mother when you're out there, okay? Okay. All right. I'm I'm out. I'm not gonna waste your time. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> and yeah, uh, and we we leave uh, we leave Adam uh, scurrying out of the apartment to uh, to your your meeting with the crew. I feel like we should have achievements for every arc, one of which is get at a date. <laughs> <laughs> like uh maybe. yeah i mean now like now that y'all have said it i uh i would absolutely love to have the scene of uh like i i i feel like i didn't quite, I'm manifesting it i'm manifesting it now i didn't quite get to flirty carrie uh because she's just with her sons uh so i i want to i want to get there and uh god i want to okay, target well, that at it let's I, I have an actual out. Did Our found manifest... family has now actually become a blended family. <laughs> I also just want to see uh, David RP. Uh, yeah, this this is this is very funny to me. All right, let, let's get it back. Let's do it. All right. So uh, we will cut to um, downtown uh, where um, I think continuing with Adam, we we see you. Um, how'd you get downtown subway? Uh, uh, Metro. Uh, I think Gotham has a, a mix of like uh, elevated and underground train lines, right? 
Are you asking all of us how we got there? I'm I'm asking uh, I'm asking Andre. I'm asking Dot. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, Adam primarily takes the subway everywhere. Or cool, if not the cool. subway, then the buses. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I think um, I think downtown Gotham has mostly underground lines. Um, uptown has mostly elevated. So. Um, yeah, we see we see Adam uh, heading uh, up out of the subway, um, and uh, you open the door of the Gothbucks coffee shop uh, across the street from the Ace Chemical Tower uh, down in the financial district. Um, you know, we're we're uh, middle of the day. January downtown financial district. Um, I think um, we're probably around lunch, so we've got a lot of like, um, we have a lot of like office workers, you know, uh, uh, bankers, financial types, people in like suits and scarves and overcoats, and uh, you know, a, a lot of like stockings and high heels, um, sort of uh, marching to and from lunch the the revolving doors of the of the office buildings here are just going uh at this hour as people are sort of rushing in and out uh to to get their their lunch hour in before they have to go back to their big jobs of uh pushing money around on screens uh that uh makes gotham city go at least it makes the legal parts of gotham city go uh, and uh, through this through this bustle, um, we see Adam opening the door of this absolutely generic ass corporate coffee shop. Um, you know, just just sort of like tucked into the base of one of these massive uh, uh, glass and steel and concrete office buildings in the financial district. And you enter to see the rest of your new crew, uh, dot, 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 um, seated towards the back of mm. the shop. So I want to get, uh, I, I want to get some, uh, some sensory details on the goth bucks. Um, everybody give me, uh, one detail about this chain coffee shop who's got one hmm. instead of a mermaid it's a cat with two tails that's Great. the logo yep <laughs> nice. okay so goth bucks logo is a cat with two tails um i think the the key color here is is certainly not green uh, what is it instead of green? Purple. Great. Flip the flip the color wheel. Uh, also <laughs> Riddler connection. Uh, okay, so Gothbuck's logo is a two-tailed cat. Uh, I think it's um, uh, yeah, I, I think it's stylized. It's probably like um. Aren't there aren't oh, there two-tailed oh, cats oh. in in Japanese mythology? Or am I thinking of foxes? Are you there's confusing with the nine-tailed fox? foxes? Yeah, there's foxes, and I think there are cats. Um, oh. this explicitly is both Gotham, but it is also goth, and so um, every <laughs> cup has um uh, has something. Uh, what what's the What's the super pagany equivalent of the witchy pagan equivalent of Happy Holidays, but year round? Um, blessed be year every round? cup, every blessed year be. round, year, year round. Uh, every cup has "Blessed be" on it, <laughs> Great. and a little pentagram on the bottom. The, there's like a yeah. There's nice. like a there's like one of those little merch walls where there's like a shelf. Right, and then there are a bunch of these uh, cups with "Blessed Be" like mugs, like travel mugs and like ceramic mugs, all all sort of lined up um, in in uh, classic Gothbucks purple. Um, yeah, um, 
and there and there's that uh i i think the um the baristas write it on by hand onto the the paper cups yeah if they like you you get a cool little doodle yep mm -hmm. um i think there is like there's a bunch of different customers there's like uh just people who are like working around the same area in town who are just kind of scattered from all they're like uh they're like lost tourists who like pop in and out who are like super easy to pick out um but then there's also like there's like a wall of suit who just like are like waiting in line and they they yeah. look like they look like almost like robotic in the way that they like all move up one by one the exact same thing just like a black copy yep um and uh they just like coffee with two splendas yeah that's exactly that's exactly that they always order splenda um uh and one of the baristas just gets sick and is like are you all ordering black coffees is that it how many of you are there <laughs> yeah and and they they sort of look around like i i don't know which one of us is supposed to answer that question <laughs> Okay. I feel like almost all of the baristas that work, at especially the downtown chains, they all have side gigs, and they're not necessarily pretty savory side gigs, so it's quite possible that the reason Jackie even felt comfortable coming here is because she was able to walk in first, give one of the uh, man shift managers a wink, and secured us that table and uh the mm. camera the security cameras are conveniently no longer facing us no one will know we were here nice okay uh cool yeah uh jackie I'm... what's what's the name uh let's let's make this a character um what's the name of the the uh this is like a what a shift manager who you know yeah at the at the goth bucks yeah her her name is ashley but spelled in that like super basic white ashley um okay. and she looks she looks like a hollywood valley girl she does not belong in gotham but jackie does know that this woman can kill you with one hand great all right uh and she's like for hire she's worked for a couple of different people like she she's she's not really like on contract with any one particular uh mob mobster or super villain she moves she shifts around uh she's freelance yeah you know i would like to propose that goth bucks is um a reactionary uh pro union upstart that was formed by um, after union busting by other shittier companies, um, uh, it, it, it's empl it's an employee owned company. Okay. Yes. Awesome. And it's a, it's chain a that's henchman beloved. employee owned company. That's it was started by a Gotham. bunch of hench people. Yeah. It's beloved within Gotham. Every single, like all the, it, it is Gotham exclusive, but it is like, it is, it, if you, if you talk shit about a goth bucks to a Gothamite, like they will stab you. Yeah. Right, it, it, it's those it's suits, like it's those like if you insult punch Duncan you in, in Boston. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. You insult my dunks, bro. I've seen okay. that in real time. Yeah, <laughs> I have too. It's really bad. So we're, we're not in Boston, so the finance guys aren't wearing fucking eight fucking vests. Patagonia vests, like layered. All on top of one another. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ! Uh, yeah, I, I guess it's in New York now too. No, no, the yeah, the the finance bro uniform. I I think uh, I think actually has made an appearance. I I know I described a lot of suits, Pretty but good. there there's the finance bros for sure. You oh, know, totally. with the with the the gingham or the plaid or or whatever Ashley, shirts. And, and Ashley's the, definitely and the puffy on vests purpose. And the khakis. Yeah. Ashley's on purpose fucking up those orders. Yeah. Like, oh my god, I thought you complex. ordered one Splenda. You ordered <laughs> two? Oh, sorry. Oh my god, I'm so yes. sorry. Anyway, the line is moving, low. so you gotta get out of here. Uh, <laughs> bye. It's my girl! No refunds. 
Uh, yeah, and I, I think uh, Ashley likes you all enough uh, that, you know, normally this is a counter service joint, but she knows that you're here for business. Um, and uh, she she will uh, she will come over. So she she sort of like, uh, you know, a- after uh, just completely blowing off, you know, this finance bro and his puffy vest uh sort of uh like flounces over to the uh uh to the table um adam dot 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 as you as you sit down um and she she sort of pulls up and you know she's got her her purple apron and her purple visor over this just platinum blonde hair um her yeah she's hit woman barbie uh, I think she has like one one little indication that she is not just some she has like a tattoo. She has like one visible oh, oh, tattoo. Oh, oh, oh that does she suggests... have a teardrop tattoo she covers up with like one of those bedazzle stick on oh stars? Yes. yes. And if, oh. if if it's just a little bit off, you can see that she has a teardrop tattoo that's covered up by a little, yeah. yes. a little Perfect. gem. I'm, Perfect. I I should not have done this. I uh, I need to break up with Harvey Dent real quick. I have to go date Ashley. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've manifested. Uh, we've manifested Ashley, aka Hit Woman Barbie, and <laughs> she uh, she sort of uh, flounces up to to the table. Uh, dot dot dot. As you as you take your seat, uh, and says, uh, "Hey y'all, how you doing?" So, uh, everybody's here now, Jackie. You, uh, you wanna, you want me to take some orders? Yeah, I think we're we're all set, Ashley. We can do this now. All right. So, what can I get for you? You know what I like. All right. One Jackie special coming right up. I'll just get a an, an iced tea. Miss Ashley, unsweetened. All right. Unsweetened iced tea. Got monster. She oh, eleven in the morning. <laughs> yeah, she like yeah. looks. She like looks at this very sort of um. Uh, there's like this very abstract clock on the wall, uh, which which you know clearly says that it is it is like, you know. 12 30 uh mm-hmm. or or it's it's like 1 p.m let's say uh and, and then she looks back at you and she's like uh like yeah i guess i can get you a monster are you sure you don't want like a drink like a real one put the monster in a double shot of espresso oh kids Oh my or, god! I guess I guess it's the devil shot of espresso and the monster. Whatever's gonna make me feel energy, something. Uh, she she sort of hunkers down on the on the table and sort of like leans in close. This is mostly for Jackie's benefit. Um, and... Jackie knows that you you have done fucked up like that. Le- when she starts to get like really close like that, Jackie's like, uh, uh, yeah, and and Ashley says. Like, normally this isn't the job where I kill people. But if that's what you really want. I mean. Just, I, Ashley, um, look, just when you make my regular, just splash about uh, 10% into a cup and that'll do. I promise it won't kill. All right. (sighs) Whatever. I got gotcha. you, and she, you, uh, she gets up, whirls around, and heads back behind the counter. Ollie's regular is twenty espresso shots on ice. Oh my god, that that's kind of funny in comparison to what I imagine Jackie's <laughs> is, which is actually like a giant mocha. It's actually really sweet. Great. These okay. are all just so perfect. I got. Fitting. I got a yeah. Yeah, I feel like I have to write these down, but we'll we'll just play the tape back later. Yeah. (laughs) Right. Right. And so, like, it's it's just, it's basically, you have to go so hardcore over the top 
in order to get a caffeine buzz. It's literally, it would give a normal person a heart attack. Um, so dot, 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 you're just going to get about like five, or you're going to get whatever, whatever an XL iced coffee is. Mm -hmm. It's that, but it's just full of espresso. And mm -hmm. you're going to get a little, a little bloop. A little drizzle. Amazing. Yes. Oh, it's also decaf. It's drinks, just that Jackie can't say maniacs. that out loud uh, oh. because uh, she she's just hiding what she's actually drinking. You have you, you have yeah, a she, reputation to uphold. She she here. hasn't been having any caffeine for a while. It's all good. Oh. I I love this. I love this for all of you. So uh, yeah, Ashley uh, sort of bounces off to to uh, prep all of your coffee orders. And you are free to uh, to plan your job. So here is here's what I'd like to do. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, the your the si here's the situation. So the timeline is it is currently Tuesday. You know that by Friday, based on what the the Riddler told dot dot dot, uh, the Basilisk material is going to have been transferred. Um, so that you have you have a couple of days to uh, to get this stuff. Um, in between then and now, uh, you know you you have to. Get your basic plan in order. Um, you are going to collect any necessary gear. Um, and uh, potentially, um, depending on, you know, you can always just you can always just try to deal with it when you get to it. Uh, but you may want the you may want to figure out how you can get the solution to the puzzle that locks the secure room in Riddler's base. Um, the Hall, um, based on your your previous conversation, you know is um, I I'm gonna retcon very slightly to about 400k uh, because yeah. that that splits more evenly. Now that is if you can get every lockbox out of that secure storage. That's like what you would estimate the total amount on hand. Uh, is in that room so you know you're you if you want the whole hall you're gonna have to get every single lockbox for yeah. that um so what i want to do with that is we are going to start integrating uh or, or we're, we're actually going to start hitting um some classic blades in the dark rules um which are um, in traditional Blades in the Dark, you, um, you don't do a ton in the way of heist planning. What you do instead are flashbacks. So, what we'll be doing is I will give y'all a little space to discuss your sort of basic approach, nail down the contours of what it is you want to do, um, and then we're just, we'll, we'll do a, a fortune roll to establish your starting position in the heist, and we're going to go right into it. When you want to, um, when you want to essentially address a challenge that comes up in gameplay, something that you can do is we will flash back to this scene in the goth box where you're all sitting around the table and you can talk through what your plan will be um and if you pay one stress you can set something up in the past that uh that you have done will flash forward to the the present moment of the heist and that will have been something that y'all have set up so that's how I wanna. That's how I wanna deal with it, um, and, and kind of minimize the the amount of pre planning. So what I wanna get, uh, what I wanna get, as you are are waiting for your coffees, um, 
is the let's let's have the scene of the beginnings of this this conversation uh, and getting into what your basic plan is. So, what does that look like? Let's let's launch into that. Okay. So, primary goal for this grab drives. Okay, that's our primary objective. Get these things and get out of there with the money. That that is our baseline. Anything else on you? If you if you got, uh, Ollie, you you looked like you had blood in your eyes when I told you something. I it was it was these chemicals. That's none of my business. That's on you. You got beef? None of my business. That's like a primary objective. If I can get in there unimpeded, just grab the shit and run. Oh. How we get there, I don't know. But that's that's the goods. Uh so I mean you're an employee, right? Like or Ace Chemicals is on a division of Riddler's company, right? So Theoretically, you should just be able to walk right in, right? Well, okay. So there's like different, there's like the actual AIDS Chemicals building, and then there's like the Riddler HQ in the building. And this, like, five, the drive isn't just like, you know, it, it's like behind a puzzle box connected to a door. Like, yeah, you mentioned and, a puzzle box. All right and it changes every day and i don't i don't know what it is gonna be when we go if it's today tomorrow whatever but i might 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 be able to ask um whoever's in charge of whoever's whoever's taken the security shift that day i think i think they get the answer like what if we just solve the uh what if we just solve the puzzle that's the other thing, is that I think they'd get a little suspicious if just the door was open to all of the goods, you know? So if mm -hmm. I go in and be like, hey, I need to double check something, I think everything's okay with the basilisk. Give me the door number. Give mm. it to me. Go in. Right. I, l I like a quick, quiet, clean. So you already got access. But Ed, you used to work for the question mark guy. Mm -hmm. And based on what you said earlier, it sounds like he doesn't remember that you stopped talking to him. No, uh, probably not. I mean, I guess I just got one of those faces. So let's use that to our advantage. Both of you guys can walk right in. But you can just, I don't know, you could be saying that Ali and I are potential new recruits. Freelancers, hired hands for something unsavory. I don't know. Oh, and uh, both, I mean... Both of your, both of your uh, villains um, are kind of currently out of the picture. Like you're looking for new work. This is, this is great. This is it's all coming together. We could use that. Yeah, I, that I, gets I, us in the building. Now getting us out—that's a different story. But we can improvise. Yeah, we're 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 pretty good at that. Um, <laughs> We're, we're pretty good at getting out of places, you know? So, I'm not too worried about Fairly that. Got a good track record, yeah. <laughs> I don't get so, it. What's, uh, what's the gag? The gag is we've broken out of Arkham twice. Want to see what we can do to your boss's base? You were in fucking Arkham? Ed? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um... <laughs> I mean, I do. want I want just a very quick snapshot of what has just passed through dot dot dot's mind. Fucking Ed's been gone for like over a year. Just dropped off the face of the earth. Did not hear from this guy. Just stopped showing up to work. And just, he just <laughs> casually just drops that he was in Arkham for like 
15 months? Okay, great. Love that. Well, you know, we we did kind of blow up the, you know, the old, the, the year. Um, so, yeah. This job, however, <laughs> maybe not so many fireworks. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, like y'all are I'd love for that number to be less than one. I yeah, think about that. Yes, Ollie. I'll, I'll help you guys with the job, but I'm probably not coming out. That's not what? in the plan. What are you? Ta that's ridiculous. What are you talking about? Yeah, well, I got other. I got another appointment in the building. In the building with who? <laughs> ah, a couple scientists. Maybe some corporate uh, fellas. Oh shit! Why? You got a lead, didn't you? Yep. Okay. Well, that 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 throws a a, a wrench in things. Um. Okay. Well, so we're not gonna leave without you. That's just we need you uh, you're the out of you're the getaway driver <laughs> you know so uh, uh I, can, I can set you up you'll, you'll be no fine. no you misunderstand this it. Fucking we're calling an uber for it's <laughs> not happening <laughs> like look uh, this is... uh what, what's what's the gotham it's umbra look i yeah no we're not we're not about the yeah i'm gonna call it you call you an umbra xl and you're gonna show up with all your little boxes of fucking death weapons some cash no but uh, we'll, we'll, I'll set you up with a car right outside the place. No, 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 no. cars no. to split off it's from there. not... No, 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 Ollie. What are you talking about? You've got, you've got some business at the Ace Chemicals building for Ivy's sake, and you're cutting us out? Is that how Look, it is? I'm not going to ask you to do my dirty work. Well, well you didn't have to ask. <laughs> it's, that. We're doing it. Like, it's, it's happening. Who's the target? I don't have specific names. That's what I'm trying to find out. Uh, Dave, David, for my for my recollection, I think I yep. do have one name. Uh, you you have a couple of like last names of scientists who the the guard from Arkham kind of yeah. just saw in passing on like yeah, but name tags or lists or or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, this might get ugly. I'm. I gotta find out who exactly was involved in this, and I don't know. I'll hang them out the building until they tell me what they did. Oh well, isn't it great that you have someone that's uh, fairly competent at hanging people out of buildings until they uh, say the right words to get them uh, pulled back in? Is that like one of your specialities? Uh... I'm a woman of many skill sets, Ollie. What can I say? Look, I... This is already a mess. And I don't want to add more fuel to the fire. Ivy's necessary. one of us. This is what we yeah. do. Yeah, but it's more important that we get out of here alive. And un batman But maybe we can do both. Maybe there's a way to get the basilisk and the money out and then come back maybe there's a way that we can ensure an easy entry and escape once we're there we can get the lay of the land we can plan ideas. while we're doing something else got a, i've got several ideas in fact smash cut uh yeah we can we can go we can go to the smash cut all right cool so smash wipe Woo! uh we see um we see the four of you um how much time do we think has elapsed? Uh, how much time did you take to to 
do your additional planning before you you went for it. Probably like a day. At least a day. Like yeah. one day. Okay, so smash wipe the next day. Um we uh we I think uh our our view moves over from the uh from the exterior of the goth bucks uh we maybe we 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 do like a cool we do like a cool time transition okay so we uh we see um ashley come back and put the start distributing your drinks and we're pulling back we're pulling back we're pulling back we pass all of the uh you know corporate drones in line uh we're out through the big plate glass windows on the front of the building uh our view is swinging around to the other side of the street time speeds up we see the light change we see you know the sky darken the street lights come on uh the the sun set the sun rise again the street lights uh go out uh as we move across 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 to look up at the ace chemical tower um this is a uh, a mid-century office building it's tall it's rectangular uh it's this sort of like concrete grid front with uh recessed windows in in this little uh, you know this this sort of grid all up and down the facade um we can just from ground level catch a glimpse of this giant sans serif lettering uh at the top of the building ace chemical um and then uh you know we're we're back down we're back down we're moving uh across the the lobby um we see the morning foot traffic in and out uh the the winter coats the business suits the the puffy finance bro vests um uh lab coats certainly uh heading in and out uh, security guard or two milling around the the lobby guarding the elevator banks um and then we are off to the side of the building we're down a side street uh the the street narrows uh time begins to slow back down as we see a um a, a, a truck uh like a, a small uh like a delivery truck um sort of pull away from uh the area uh this this sort of large opening in the side of the building on this uh this almost alleyway um around the around the side um though i think there is like a you know this is a proper this it's a it's just a very narrow street there's like a proper sidewalk here and there's some, you know, there's like the dumpsters on the side um, and, and all that. Uh, and we are now uh, 24 hours, let's say, have roughly have elapsed. Unless you wanted to go later. What time of day do you, do you start? It sounds like our setup is to walk in with the excuse that maybe Ollie and Jackie are there looking for new work. So it would have to be during the day. Great. So yeah, middle of the day. So 24 hours ha have now elapsed uh, as our view has moved from the goth bucks around to the loading dock. Um, and we see the four of you step uh, into, into view, uh, ready for a heist. You are across from... Uh, from this loading dock, uh, you can see there's this, you know, one of those giant slatted metal doors that's been rolled up. Uh, it's flanked by um, these yellow painted concrete poles on on either side. Um, bollards. And bollards, yes. Um, and you can just see in to this largish area with... Um, you know, there's a couple of square ports uh, for the trucks. Um, 
there are the there's this like concrete this elevated concrete deck uh the the concrete is you know sort of sort of stained there you know you can see like the the sort of remains of uh of moisture dripping from the top there's uh these sort of um these uh rubber like bumpers right where the 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 truck meets the meets the deck um and uh you just get this uh get this you know whiff of uh of diesel uh as you as you stand looking at your entry point to uh riddler's base let's get a fortune roll to establish your starting position I so feel like this has to be dot dot um we are going to um we are going to actually start with the cruise rating of oh. one uh so you're starting uh well actually so you start you start with just you know one uh one d6 for your rating um i'm gonna give you another one uh because uh your um your of your because of your entry plan basically um right dot 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 is supposed to be there Ed knows the lay of the land, um, and you you have a you have a pretty good inconspicuous um, kind of starting starting place, mm-hmm. um, and I am also going to give you a third because you know exactly what you're looking for and you know exactly where it is. Like dot dot dot, you have physically you physically yourself put the lockbox in the storage room with the riddler so uh you you know exactly where you're going so that puts us at three who wants to roll it i can roll all right three dice here we go ah, oh boy Ugh. One, a one, and a three. Yikes! <laughs> Yikes. No, I'm I don't so like sorry. it. Sorry. Oh boy. All right. Start no, strong, guys. Great. This one, Start one time, it, whenever I play any tabletop game, I swear to God, one plan will come together. Okay. That's all I want. So, uh, you are going to start in an immediately precarious position with this. Um, and what's, what, what's the best way to do this? Um, got the three uh, as your highest. Yeah, it's not great. All right, yeah, I, I gotta, uh, I gotta do it. Uh, I gotta do it. So, um, as, uh, as the four of you, um, approach the, uh, the, the loading dock, um, a, uh, a car pulls up, um, a green, uh, a, a, a green town car pulls up. Um, and the door opens and out of the rear passenger side steps Edward Nigma. Oh, great. God damn it. Love Guys, that. this is, this is going to work out better God for me, Marcy, it. not any of us, because I intend to just snap that man in half like a Kit Kat. Yeah. Oh, uh... Great. I'm going to so, manifest through the screen now. This is not a game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there there he is uh, in his his green uh, his, his green suit. 
uh, and Bowler. Um, I think he is wearing a, a pair of sunglasses with purple tinted lenses. Uh, and uh, he probably, uh, again, it is it is somewhat cold out. Uh, he he probably has a uh, a green like a trench coat, let's say. Um, and he uh, spins his his uh, question mark cane as he gets out, taps it on the ground, and then uh, notices the four of you uh, standing there uh, and uh, points with his with his question mark cane in your direction, Ollie. I real question: How comes? How has nobody actually murdered this man yet? It's a, it's a mystery. Like, yeah, I feel like at some point somebody would have just been like, oh, no, not again. Not today, motherfucker. Not on my lawn. And just so here's shot what I him. what I'd like to think uh, since since Jackie's been a hit woman for a hot minute that yeah. occasionally that contract has come up. It's just that he's so goddamn annoying. <laughs> there just has never been enough money offered by people that post it to be worth dealing with him. I and that's feel like, my running theory. <laughs> I also love the idea that he's weirdly hard to kill. Yeah. Like, not in a but oh, not he's, in a he's absolutely way. weirdly hard to kill. Yes. Like yes. he's he's in a in a like I've got a bulletproof suit and then things just work out for me. Yeah. He's, he's there he like a like a, a fish or a, a panther in the night just you can't Ramble. Yeah, like a fish so, panther in the like night. Fish panther. <laughs> uh, so he he points uh, across the uh, the the alleyway uh, at uh, at the four of you with his with his cane uh, and calls Mr. Bright. Good morning uh, or uh, well afternoon. We're getting on. We're getting on. That's right, boss. We're well into the day, and I got some uh, fresh recruits here. Uh, looking for a, a job. I figured we could get them something. It truly is an honor to meet the the the, the great mind, the stunning wit and intelligence, Mister Nigma him, himself. Yeah, he sort he sort of saunters around. Uh, and Ed, as you're saying that, he kind of like leans forward, gets pretty close to you, like takes down his sunglasses to kind of peer at you. Do I know you? Um, no, uh, probably no. Uh, I don't know what 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 high school did you go to? Maybe we were in like the same class. No offense, but uh, you look a little old for us to have gone to high school together. Oh right, I mean I was a teacher. <laughs> that, that's what I meant. That's what I was saying. Uh huh. I remember my high school teachers extremely well. None of them were very clever, and I really, really did not have much patience for them. So I hope you're not one of them, because that would really, really set me off this afternoon. Okay. Uh, oh, that's so, great. Uh, sorry, Mr. Nigma. <laughs> sorry. Mr. Brait, I... Don't believe I asked you to go out and get new recruits. I believe I asked you to work on a particular puzzle for me. He so, did do that. This is this is not an, in lieu of said work. This is simply something I stumbled across and thought we could seize the opportunity of. I have the the horse car is rigged in an abusing mile. Uh dot dot dot. Let's have a roll. Uh -huh. uh, oh god, the horse car. Yeah. Oh, uh I should say before before anybody rolls, um you certainly had time. Um uh, I don't want to get into it in too much detail. Um I did I did forget to make a note about it, but you did have time to rest and recuperate. Um so any um any stress that you uh that you accrued um in the in the run up to this um uh, has been wiped. You're you're starting clean at the beginning of the heist here. Um. So yeah, it um. 
It sounds to me, dot, 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 like you are attempting to sway the Riddler um, into uh, into believing uh, both that you have brought uh, new recruits, uh, and that is all, uh, and also that this is something, um, even though he did not instruct you to do it, that is beneficial. So... I, I think we're I think we're looking at a sway roll. Um, this uh, I'm I'm gonna hit you hard to start out because uh, okay that's great failure for position roll. Um, okay, so he's got Come on one, me. He's got one level on you. Um, so you're down one, and I think this is a bit of a desperate situation. Like the Riddler immediately showing up to the beginning of your heist. Yeah. Uh, yeah. a bit of a desperate situation. So It'd you're going to be, be down. Bad. You're going to be down another for that. But of course, do do mark experience for rolling in a desperate situation. So you're down two to start from your sway rating. Okay, great. So only got one sway. <laughs> so see how this goes. Um and uh Ed because uh. <laughs> I, I will say, as you have been talking, um, if if there's something, no, no, you you buttered him up, right? So if you want to pay the stress to uh, to help, you can certainly kick. Yes, uh, absolutely, a die I over do. To I 100 percent do. Dot, dot. Yeah, because you, you know, he he clearly like turned on you immediately because he's an asshole, uh, but he likes he likes attention. So yeah. Um, you can you can pay that uh, you can pay that one stress to uh, to assist if you would like. Okay, so uh, Adam, you're paying two stress to push yourself, yes. and Ed is paying one stress to help you. Uh, you are uh, which which negates the the two d6 that you were down. So you are you're rolling flat to your sway rating now. You're back up. Here we go, gamers. Let's go. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm loving it. Oh, can I we love... take it can we take it again? Can we just let's go back to the coffee shop? I'm out. I'm leaving. I don't need this. <laughs> uh yeah, uh, so uh Riddler Riddler is gonna say to you, uh I'm sorry, Mr. Bright. I, I'm not recruiting right now. I would have thought you'd known that. Uh, maybe my trust in you was misplaced. Walk with me, Mr. Bright. Uh, you people go wherever it is you live. Uh, and he sort of waves you off. <laughs> we live uh, here. Waves the three of you off dismissively. Who restrains, uh, and makes Jackie, it who restrains that... Jackie from pushing him in the back of the head? I think yeah. Ollie just uh, uh, just uh, puts puts a hand on Jackie's shoulder and they lean over and just go, we can literally just wait until he walks inside the fucking building. Obviously, 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 it's just every time I hear that guy talk. It is, it is, it is very rage inducing. I know, and I've been working really hard on like containing that, but all of a sudden it's just, Man. So of all the people to consistently take over a loudspeaker and it up like PA systems, holy shit. It's the worst. Uh so yeah, the the three of you, Ollie, Ed, and Jackie, are uh just kind of watching the the Riddler head off with dot dot dot. Um uh, now I will tell you what I will I will remind everybody. Um, you can always attempt a resistance roll to resist the consequences of uh, of a, a roll of an mm. action roll. So I I would like to. That I is an like... option here, and we can we can rewind uh, and take this again. Hmm. I'd like to try and resist. Pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> it is pretty funny. Ed, mm, yeah, damn. Ed can't resist. Mm. This this has to be. This does dot, have dot, to dot. be dot dot dot. Because, oh oh okay oh sorry because it yeah. was 
it was yeah, his fault. Sorry. You can't resist okay. for somebody else. Sorry, when you said you guys, I thought you meant like all of us. I don't know. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it, uh, just in general, you guys, but uh, specifically in this case, dot dot dot. So you can mm -hmm. do that. Um, you may end up paying quite a bit of stress uh, for it. When but you, you have the option, oh, we'll roll, be you fine. Roll Early in the uh, day. Consequence actions. We can tank it. We can tank it, right, guys? All right. You I've already rides. Yeah, it's all good. Cool. So, uh, dot, 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 the, uh, the Riddler is, uh, is walking with you. Uh, I think there's, uh, a, again, uh, a, a three, uh, you know, a couple of, of Riddler goons get out of the, uh, get out of the car as well and are flanking you, uh, as you, you sort of head in to, uh, into the loading dock. Um, so uh Riddler is kind of is kind of monologuing at you uh dot 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 and it's um it's it's sort of both a a stream of, it's like this stream of consciousness like kind of scold but also kind of like uh hey let's talk about the work here so you know he's he's sort of going on like um you know, Mr. Bright, if you want to keep this position that I've elevated you into, you really need to stay on task. And I appreciate your initiative in, in going out and trying to get more, uh, more quality people for our operation, but I really have to control who's here and when. This, this has to be a tight ship, you understand? Now, about the car horse the horse car yes right so uh, i'm thinking we need some sort of kicking mechanism involved in this i want uh, i want the bat to have a, a bit of a surprise so work that in make a note of that uh, i know you said you already set it up but you can just tear it down and do it again uh and we're gonna we're gonna just take another pass on this i know i haven't looked at it yet but i'll get to it i promise and uh when i do i hope that we can incorporate the changes here uh, i made some notes and uh, he starts uh, ag once again uh, just handing off these these utterly incomprehensible uh, uh, scribblings uh, to you dot 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 and uh, as as he's he's sort of monologuing this at you you are heading into the base um, so you know you move into the loading dock um, you um, you know, you sort of walk under the the rattling ductwork and pipes, uh, and the through like the hiss of steam out of the uh, the pipes going up the walls. Here, you uh, walk up this uh, sort of yellow painted metal utility stair up to the top of that loading deck, and through a, a small door, you're going down this fluorescent lit passage. Uh, that's uh you know got like a bank of freight elevators on one side um and uh you uh you get to the last elevator uh riddler hits the call button uh and uh you dot 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 riddler and the two goons all pile into the last elevator in the bank uh, and head down into the base. Thanks for joining us on Manipod Studios for Streets of Gotham. Streets of Gotham runs Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can watch past games on youtube.com slash Manipod Studios. Let's get our players sign-offs and shout-outs. My name is Andre. You can find me at Andre Vera Art on Twitter. And Instagram, uh, and at my uh, website, andrevera.art, which has my professional illustration portfolio, as well as all the actual plays that I'm in, including The Atomus, Tragedy of the Illusion, Unicorn Hunt, Redline, Power Rangers, and Streets of Gotham. Um, I also want to shout out my uh, itch, uh, itch.io slash andrevera.art, where you can get some games. Um, I have some uh, games that I've just made by myself, 
uh, as well as many collaborations with uh, my my dear, dear, wonderful uh, Super Dylan, uh, including uh, at, at the time of recording our newest uh, collaborative game, American Werewolf Biker Club, which is very fun. You should check it out. I have been Hopper. Regrettably, I will continue to be Hopper. Um, if you are uh, a masochist and is, uh, interested in seeking out more of me, uh, you can find me here on this network uh, very often on Flights of Fandom uh, every Tuesday and uh, on The Hole in the World, our award-winning uh, act- uh, Invisible Sun actual play. Um, in addition to that, uh, I can be found on the interwebs under the legend tree, including on Twitch where it's done with underscores. So you can come watch the deranged shit that I do put out there, but it's good deranged shit. I have been Marcy. If I shall continue to be here in future, only time will tell. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, I feel pretty confident you can still find me here on Manipod Studios Pretty much uh, every Tuesday, as Hopper said, doing flights of fandom. Um, We've got a whole bunch of those episodes coming up for you, so you're going to want to keep your eyes right here on this channel each week. Uh, And uh, yes, I too am in the hole in the world, which is every Sunday. Uh, As I've said before, I'm a writer and an editor. You can find me almost anywhere online under the username Experimental Madness. And if you can't find me there, well, you can find me under my secondary, lesser known name, uh, Marsifal. Maddie here. Uh, you can find me on social media um, as Seller Tater and on my website, maddiecourtney.com. Uh, I'd love to plug my friends down at the Laughing Dragon Inn. They're another really great group of TTRPG streamers. So definitely go check their stuff out. Um, I believe they have Twitch, YouTube, and also a cool website uh, with all their characters and campaigns and stuff. And I've been David. You can find me on social media at DBrunel Brutman and on Manipot's Flights of Fandom. You can also find tabletop RPGs I've designed at dbb 8itchio including In the Dark, the Blades in the Dark hack that we play right here on Streets of Gotham. And with that, we'll see you next time.